When to sell your company for optimal value? When it comes to timing, there are three important factors. Are you ready? Is your company ready? Is the market ready? All three of these need to be in alignment before you can maximize your sales price. You must give careful consideration to your motivations. Are you burnt out? Do you have health issues? Are you ready to retire? Do you have a plan? Are the kids or employees taking over? Or will you sell it to a premium buyer? Can you let go? Are all stakeholders in agreement to start the process? These are all questions that you must answer to determine if you're ready to start an exit strategy. Is your company ready? Is your company marketable? Would it be attractive to premium buyers? What's the financial condition of your company? What's your company worth? Is that enough to meet your retirement and estate planning goals? If not, what are the things you need to do to improve your company's marketability and value? It is important to start the process early to give you and your company enough time to prepare for an optimal sale. Is the market ready? Market conditions will have a big impact on whether you sell for a premium or a discount. Seller's markets versus buyer's markets. It's ideal to sell in a seller's market when conditions are favorable to the seller. When you sell in a seller's market, you tend to get a premium for your business. Factors that influence market conditions. Interest rates. The lower interest rates, the higher the value of your company. Liquidity. Are banks lending? Is there dry powder in the market to make acquisitions? Higher liquidity leads to a higher sales price. Taxes. The tax you pay when you sell a business is known as capital gains tax. Ideally, you want to sell when capital gains taxes are low. Supply and demand of business for sale. More buyers or more sellers? Are there more buyers or more sellers in the current market? More buyers and sellers leads to a premium price. More sellers than buyers leads to a discount in price. Economic growth. Is the economy growing with confidence or is the economy declining with fear? When economic growth and confidence is good, you will get a better price for your company. Conversely, a recession, such as the one in 2009, led to severely discounted prices and bankruptcies. Where we are today. Throughout history, there have been buyer's markets and seller's markets. Here is a chart showing market conditions over the last 50 years. As you can see, there are peaks and troughs over time. The last seller's market was in 2007. In 2008, we hit a major recession. Since then, the market has improved into the greatest seller's market of all time. Valuations have never been higher than they are right now. M&A transactions have never been higher than they are right now. Interest rates are at historic lows. Low capital gains tax are at historic lows. Banks are lending, creating a surplus of liquidity in the market. And there are more buyers than sellers. Where are we headed? We expect the seller market to last another 12 to 18 months. After that, we expect the market to soften. Why? Well, it always does. Looking at the following chart, you can see that over the last 50 years, the average time between peaks is 10 years. Prior to this great seller's market, the last seller's market was in 2007, or 14 years ago. We are starting to see a rise in inflation. The Federal Reserve plans to deal with that with interest rate hikes. Remember, high rates means lower values. Furthermore, there will be a significant increase in the supply of business coming available for sale due to aging baby boomers. Forbes has indicated that there are 10 million baby boomer business owners with a total market value of $10 trillion. Today, in the most liquid market ever, total liquidity is around $3 trillion. Forbes also projects that nearly half of these baby boomers will try to sell their companies in the next three to five years. Many deals won't get done, and those that do will sell for a dramatically lower price or discount. There will be more sellers than buyers. Finally, capital gains taxes are at risk. Our government continues to spend. National debt is over $30 trillion. The current administration is targeting capital gains taxes because that will have the least impact on every citizen. Some proposals include increasing capital gains tax rates to 40%, while others have suggested 50 to 70%. Let's take a look at how that would impact a company that sold for $10 million. 
assuming a 20% capital gains tax rate versus a 50% capital gains tax rate. Sales price of $10 million, capital gains tax rate of 20%. Capital gains taxes, $2 million. Net sales proceeds, $8 million. Sales price, $10 million. Capital gains tax rate, 50%. Capital gains taxes, $5 million. Net sales proceeds, $5 million. Solution. We estimate this seller's market will last another 12 to 18 months. Start the exit planning process now. Get your company prepared. Sell in this seller's market while values are at a record high and taxes are low. Waiting will almost certainly result in you competing for buyers with millions of other baby boomer business owners. And that will result in a lower price. Interest rates and taxes will probably go up. If you want to optimize the sale of your company, start the process now. Click here to speak to one of our seasoned investment bankers about whether it's the right time for you to start this process.